than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the 1988 Series 5 Autobot Nightbeat. What we're going to do with this video, we'll have a quick look at him in both of his modes and that'll help you decide how you want to display him. I'll point out some things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase them one for yourself. I'll show you the accessories that come with him, then you can complete your figure. And as I'm lucky enough to have a couple of different types of packaging, we can have a look at the artwork and the battle scenes on the back of that. Before we get started, I want again, once again, I want to thank everybody for all their likes, comments and subscriptions. And of course, remind the people who aren't subscribed if they just hit that subscribe button for me right now, as it really does help this channel out a lot. OK, here he is then, 1988 Autobot. And although incredibly basic, this a bit like Huffer yesterday, he is one of my favourites. I've got such fond memories of this guy. Um, when I was a child, this was Christmas. Obviously, it must have been Christmas 88, so I was nine. And I remember getting him for Christmas. And again, although incredibly basic, I just love him. He's so basic. He's got a bit of arm movement, articulation. I suppose you can spin it all the way around, obviously. His wrists, I suppose we can say move, but that is obviously just for the transformation process. Um, and his legs, unfortunately, are completely stuck. So he doesn't even have feet at all. So he's just basically got shoulder rotation um, and a teeny bit of wrist, but I just love him. I just think he's fantastic. I love the whole headmaster gimmick that they were running for the, you know, for the couple of years. Um, yeah, he's amazing. There he is in robot mode. Things to be aware of are stickers. Now, stickers are more important on the alternate mode, which we'll look at in a second, but he would still look quite plain without them. This you need to be aware of. I'm going to carefully fold this one down. That's the chest cavity at the front. Obviously, some of these tend to get broken quite easily. Um, and let's have a look at his accessories while we're here. Also, this figure is incredibly prone to fading and getting sun damage. So you want him to be a nice shine of blue. So let me show you the accessories that come with him. There is his blaster. There's just a little bit of the hole at the back, so you can see that. And then these are the bits that always go missing. Um, You've got his head here, which is muzzle. And there he is. And this is a Headmaster Junior. So different to the major Headmasters from the year before. There's no articulation in the arms. There's just a tiny hinge at the legs. And there's no way of covering up the head on the back of him. So you can't cover that up at all. Interesting fact as well. You can see he's got black legs. But on the packaging and all the artwork, as he knocks one over, he had blue legs. So there we go. There's another thing with the packaging I'll point out in a second as well. But there we go. So that is his partner. His name is Muzzle. And the other interesting fact is that, unlike the other headmasters, that there's one barrel set in this. See that there? So when that's pressed down, it gives you the readings. Whereas on the other larger headmasters, there was three independent ones. So this little guy and any of the other little headmaster juniors will give you exactly the same readings. Unfortunately, we've got a car seat or a helmet, which is something obviously that you're definitely, definitely gonna need. I'll show you how to attach it in the car mode in a minute. And then you need two of these guns. These are what are always missing. So you've got a left and a right one, and they attach into the helmet like so. Not too far, otherwise it won't slide down over the head. But there you go. There he is in robot mode. And yeah, very, very basic. But again, I think he looks, he looks brilliant, in my opinion anyway. So let's have a look at his alternate mode. Things to be aware of, obviously the stickers. Um, I'm gonna come back to the stickers in two seconds. And you've obviously got some metal inside the tire bit there, which can be corroded. I'm not gonna show you the transformation process, but I can pretty much talk you through it. Look how simple it is. You fold the legs up to there, you bring the hands forward, and then you cover up them like that with the front. Um, you can see as well, there's a lot of screws. So corrosion there could be a thing as well. While we're, that's twice in one video, while we're talking about the stickers, if you have a look at the sticker on the, again, on the pre-production, it's nothing like that. So they got, in pre-production, obviously they got the um, legs of muzzle and the stickers on the car rung. Right, let's have a look at this then. So this is, of course, a Porsche 930 Turbo. We can fold up the roof like so. 
And then what we're going to do, I'm going to keep it like that for you now. And you can see that the other one's in the box, but for obvious reasons, I'm not going to get it out just to do this. I like to display them in the different modes. So we'll take the guns off like so. We can attach the seat inside. In fact, let's put him in as well. So let's pull his legs down. Let's attach him. See, there's two tabs inside the back of the seat there, which will attach him in there. Drop him in the um, driver's seat. Not a cockpit, as I nearly said. It's obviously not a plane. Main gun on the roof. And then I'm going to very carefully put these in here as well, because these can, of course, snap inside. So there is his alternate mode with all his weapons. And again, just look at that. I love it. It looks so cool. I am biased. I am biased because, again, I was lucky enough to have this as a child. And I suppose he was because he was a really prominent character in the Marvel comic as well. They actually had him as a detective, would you believe it or not? If you've read the comics, you'll know that, that he was a detective. And, um, yeah, he's even on the cover of one of the comics in, like, a trench coat, like a proper old-school detective. Let's just put this guy back in, ready for display. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the boxes. So the one on the left hand side is completely sealed, um, but it's a Dutch and French variant. And you'll see the languages on that in a second, just as I'm putting these back. And then the, they're both Hasbro releases, but then the other is the standard English Hasbro release. So I'm going to literally put him over here because I've already knocked him over twice and move this one down. So let's look at the standard Hasbro release. Great artwork there for Nightbeat himself and of course there's Muzzle and there's actually another little bubble on the inside there which holds the rest of his accessories for if you're wondering we've already looked at this and we've already worked out that the stickers on it are different and so are the colour of his legs and if we spin it around to the back we've got what we knew at the time or I knew as a kid as the Power Masters and Pretenders artwork but now being golden of watching Japanese cartoons I now know it is the Super God Master Force artwork, which again is brilliant. And funnily enough, and no, I don't have one. That is definitely one of my grails. This mold was used to make Minerva, which was the first lady transformer from that cartoon. Super God Master Force. She is a lady. It's just a redeco of the mold. And this is my sealed one. And as I say, so this is in two different languages. I believe it's French and Dutch. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a bit of a yellow in the bubble inside. So even, you know, seal figures can lose. Um, yeah, get some faded. And there we are again. Even though it's a different language, it's still wrong stickers, wrong colour legs. And then we'll spin it round. And there again is that lovely piece of artwork. But I'm going to raise this up so you can see you've got the dual language um tech specs what i will do while i'm just setting this up because i've mentioned it and just in case you guys want to see it and again i want these videos to be as informative as possible uh, yeah let's show you a picture of minerva then uh, actually i've got i've always got something at hand so let's have a quick look at this so yeah she was actually released maybe a frack again do, do you know what's quite funny there's no definitive who was really for, released first same with go shooter in japan which was sirens or the mold but here we go so there she is you can see there that is night beats mold but now she's like a ambulance car and as i say she's a lady so they just completely redecoed her and nope i do wish that i have one of them but i don't maybe in the future who knows but let's sign this off then because i think i've given him some justice now I've already stated he's one of my favourite figures. I absolutely love him. He is incredibly basic, very, very simple, but I think you've got to agree with the fact that he displays fantastically in either mode. And the good thing is, if you've got no accessories, you can get away with in the car mode. And pretty much as long as you've got the head, I think you can just about get away with the robot. If it's missing the car seat, let's have a look how bad it looks. It might be... Um, something i don't think it looks too bad you can get away with that i think you probably agree but yeah you really need at least the helmet the guns not necessarily if you want to complete it of course you need the guns but for display purposes i'm sure you'll agree he looks fantastic in either mode there we go so you can obviously tell there's a fondness for him in my voice um i hope you enjoyed looking at him if you were lucky enough to have one in like 
like I did when I was a kid. I hope it's brought back some really nice memories. Um, I hope on the other hand it's helped you um, with your quest to complete yours or whether to um, buy one for yourself. But once again, I want you all to take care and thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.